I mean, I didn't mean to kill him. How did it happen? Well, I was warning him off, like we discussed. And okay, yeah, maybe I got a bit heavy with him, but that was the whole point, wasn't it? He wasn't having any of it. He said he wanted more money. He started threatening me and all sorts. He... It was getting out of hand, so I knew I needed to take control, and then there was this knife, it was just there, so I, I picked it up and... I mean, I only meant to threaten him with it, but then he started shouting at me and he came at me and it was, it was an accident. You better believe me, man. And, and, and you're sure that he's... Yeah. Oh, oh my God. I did this for you, remember? Lawrence, I did this for you. I, I, I was just trying to help you. Yeah, but stabbing him, how on earth did it come to that? I don't know. I, I mean, one minute we're arguing and the next minute... It's, it's, I, I don't know how it happened. Yeah, I, I know. I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I, it's just I'm having difficulty getting my head around all this. I, I swear to you, it was an accident. I believe you. I doubt the police will. I mean, especially if I have to tell them why I went round there. What? That run-in I had with him in the village. What about it? Well, I attacked him. I threatened him in front of Dan and Kerry. What if the police find out about that? You told Dan and Kerry that it was a family squabble, so they'd know that he wasn't a stranger. Well, it's not going to look good, is it? Oh. Well, what, what have you done with the body? I got rid of it. Where? Does it matter? Of course it matters! I'm up to my neck in this. I need to know that he's somewhere where he can't be found. No, Lawrence, it's dealt with. That's all you need to know. Answer it. Go on. Lawrence White? Yes? Mind if we come in? Could you repeat the name again, please? Uh, Tim Richards. I'm sorry, I can't say I do. And what about you, sir? Well, actually, the name does ring a bell, yeah. Uh, maybe he's one of our clients? Ah, yes, sir. Well, is he or isn't he? Well, I can check our database. That would be great, thank you. Uh, what's he done this, uh, Tim Richards? Uh, nothing. In fact, it's all a bit of a mystery. Uh, we got a call out to a disturbance earlier at a guest house, the uh, Heather Lodge on Hotton Road. Don't happen to know it, do you? Uh, no, sorry, I, no, I don't. Anyway, the owner said he'd heard shouting and things being knocked over, that sort of thing, but when we got there and checked the room, it was empty. The place was a bit of a mess, mind, and in a trouser pocket, we found this. One of your business cards. How on earth did he get that? Well, that's what we're keen to know, sir. Especially as we also found blood on the carpet. How terrible. Exactly. So, if you could check your database, it would be much appreciated. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll be as quick as I can. <sighs> well, he's not in the database. Sorry. Any idea why he'd have one of your business cards? Well, he gives out loads of them. I mean, you, you can't expect him to remember everybody. Uh, true. <laughs> Maybe he'll turn up. Yeah, possibly. Then again, all his stuff's still there. Not much granted, just a few clothes and that, but... Let's just say we're not holding our breath. Well, did the guest house not get an address? Never asked for it. And he paid in cash up front. Anyway, thanks for your time. Well, I'm sorry we've not been able to help you. I'll show you out. Not you stay where you are. We've taken up enough of your time already. But if you do happen to remember him, give us a shout. Will do.